Okay, folks, this is Steve again with my audio stuff, and I already did one on this, but everything was kind of messed up with the lighting, and I wanted to redo this. I want to show you this particular uh, CD player. This is uh, my Harman Kardon HD 7725, and this dates from about, oh, 1995. I think that's when I got it, 94, 95, and... This is uh, located underneath my Elvis Presley futon here, and I have it hooked up to an EQ, Radio Shack EQ, and then my Harman Kardon PM655 down on the end there. But this, I would say, practically speaking, is probably one of the finest single-drawer CD players that money can buy. And I mean just that. Maybe some people will laugh at that. But this was the flagship on the Harman Kardon line. I think I paid 600 or 700 bucks for it. Can you believe that? I blew a whole paycheck back in the early 1990s or mid 90s on this thing. It's remote controlled and it'll control the motorized volume control. Uh, just a bunch of different features, A, B, uh, play back and forth, eject, play. Uh, you can program it. Um, this has one of the or is one of the originators of circuitry that Harman Kardon developed to help make digital recordings a little smoother sounding, take some of the metallic edge off of it, known as RLS. I think it was real linear smoothing, but this is one of the first CD players to actually have the RLS circuitry on it, and it is flawless. Um, I don't know if CDs are ever going to come back. Maybe, maybe they won't. But I have a bunch of them, and they're still readily available. And this is really another one of those uh, CD players that even on eBay is hard to get. Uh, being the very top of the line, there aren't a whole lot of these out there. This is nearly 30 years old now, and it still works flawlessly. Um, it has a metal case on it, aluminum metal case on it that is very strong. This is well built, and it's a pretty heavy CD player, a lot of shielding, uh, sizable power supply internally on it. I have been inside it, looked at the RLS circuitry and all of that. Again, this is fully discrete circuitry, so it's wideband, very quiet, very dynamic sounding. Um, they sold a lot of the one right below it. I forget what that was, the 7625, something like that, but not a whole lot of the 7725s. But this was their flagship uh, CD player, single drawer, nothing fancy. But I would have to say one of the best CD players ever produced by anyone, and I'll probably hold on to this when the Red Chinese finally come and take it from my cold, dead hands. This is Steve Howard with you here on my audio stuff. And please check out my other YouTube channel, A Father's Devotions. I have a link for it. God bless you all.